This is the DIA homepage located at live.genome.org. Uh, that's G N O M E um, slash DIA, D I A. Uh, the download, there's all kinds of, here are the links to learn about the program. There are uh, documentation, examples, and so forth, screenshots. To download the program, you click the download link here. And then you uh, look for the release you need. In this case, if it's uh, whether it's uh, if you're installing for Mac or Windows and Linux, in this case, you click this. And this is the uh, Windows download. Um, then for the Mac one, you click here. And you click the download here. And then once it appears on your uh, computer, you do a standard installation. Okay, I've opened the, the DIA application. Um, it's kind of an application within uh, a shell for your uh, operating system. So you won't see the, the usual um, menu command menu commands in the typical place. So I'm on Windows and I mean I'm on Macintosh and so you see it within the window itself the application that has the typical menus. Uh, once you get used to that it pretty much functions like any uh, graphic program. Um, for this first assignment I just want you to demonstrate that you're able to use the program and can output the PDF. So we're talking about a hierarchy so I'm going to grab and drag a, a rectangle here. If I double click it, um, I get some information about it. And then uh, I want another box underneath. So I'll drag another box like this. And if I click the, um, the text button and click in the box, I can write something here. So I'll write president. Here and I'll write uh, defense, That's Department of Defense, being a cabinet member, being a member of the cabinet. Um, I can copy these under edit, so I'll copy, paste, put it over here, text, and I can write, uh, you know, oops, take my uh, text tool, click in here, uh, State Department. Now, to make the hierarchy, or the, the lines, I drag a line like this, put it here. When I drag the arrow, it clicks on the edge of the box. The nice thing about that is when I drag a box around, the, arrow, the line goes with it. So I will drag another segmented uh, line here, and I'll attach that to the same node point on the president's box, touch that there, and now, whoops, the text has to go back into here. Now when I drag the um, president's box around, both lines go around, uh, both lines stay put, and I can line things up and so forth. There's lots of tools for alignment. And then I will proceed to make a couple more boxes, and that's all you have to do. And you could give me any hierarchy you want. It can be teacher, student, um, you know, corporation, whatever. I just want to demonstrate that you can do some boxes and draw some arrows to connect them. Then the last part of this is quick assignment is to just create a PDF. Uh, the way I usually do it is I go to um, print and export as a PDF that way. Um, since this is a little, not quite the same print dialogue you get with Macintosh, um, I suggest we just uh, to export PDF. You, what you could also do is under um, File, Export, uh, you select this where you want to put the file, and then uh, click the extension type you want, which determines the file format. And here, portable doc document format. I'm not sure what the Cairo is, um, but this PDF seems to work. And there's plenty of there's a bunch of other formats you can choose depending on what you want to do with the uh, with the graphic, you can put it in a web page. There's the PNG. Um, there's all different kind of conventions here. That they save in Visio format. So anyway, so that's how you save it. I'll cancel that, and uh, 
We'll be using DIA more later in the program, but this is just a quick overview so you can get an introduction to it and, and that you're able to save a file as a PDF. Well, the only other thing to do is under uh, page setup, actually, is where you want to indicate the size of the page. Uh, it defaults to A4, which I think the system was made in Europe, so it defaults to a metric uh, format. Uh, if you use letter for 8.5 by 11, and you can pick the orientation, and that determines the size of the page that you're you're doing your uh, your drawing on. So that's it. Thank you.